A new exhibition is coming to underneath Waterloo Station. Um, the sidings exhibition is set to inspire art lovers. And get this, it's going to be for eight weeks. So gear up for quite a range of works by 43 electric, diverse and emerging artists. Tell me more. Our reporter Harry Lowe is there having a look. Good morning, Harry. I hope you're wrapped up warm. Good morning, Shay. I am wrapped up warm, but actually it's very warm in this gallery. Ah, well, that's good news. So tell me about the exhibition. What can people expect then? Yeah, it's fantastic from what I've seen so far. Uh, we've been given a sneak peek. You know, there's an official launch party tonight, and then the exhibition is here, as you said earlier, for seven weeks in total. Uh, it's the On the Side exhibition. There's a whole array of different artworks here, and we've got a wide range of different artists. But I'm not going to wang on too much, because <laughs> I think it's better to talk to the people who know what they're talking about. And uh, first of all, it's Mark Craig, the curator. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, thank you. you. You've been hard at work this morning, haven't you, from, from first thing? From first thing, and actually probably for the last five weeks, I've been like a headless chicken running around getting everything ready. Uh, but it's been really worth it. It's been an amazing journey from the, the moment that LCR Limited uh, suggested that we potentially take on this space, which was really kind of them. Uh, to me standing here now putting up labels on the wall, it's just amazing. It's quite emotional, actually, because, you know, I've, this is the first big exhibition I've done, and I have a healthy respect now for anybody that does curating, because it is an amazingly challenging but worthwhile experience. So, What is the biggest challenge? Um, the biggest challenge is um, the, uh, there's, the, it's not the biggest, the big things, it's the little things, it's the god of small things. I keep saying to all the artists, there's a lot of things out of my control, you just accept it, and then you just keep going forward and you're trying to get everything at the same time, and then it all works perfectly. Now we've got two other artists with us, so yes. I, I hesitate to ask this, but do you have a favourite piece of artwork? I cannot. I knew you were going to ask that. No, I, 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 I love all the artwork here for all different reasons. Literally, I am. I've fallen out. When you when you put them up on the wall, and all the artworks here are unique and they're very different, which makes it really, really special. And they all have their own beautiful um, elements, which makes them that special. So I don't have a favourite. I'm being very diplomatic. <laughs> very diplomatic. There is a couple of nods to the fact that we are underneath Waterloo Railway yeah, Station. Yeah, we the train just then, so... Uh, I can see it in the artwork. Tell us about the, the two with the, with, with the trains so at either the, end. The, 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 the thing with the, the exhibition was um, it's a really nice big space. There's three spaces. So I thought to myself, let's get a whole bunch of um, artists in, uh, trying to make them really eclectic, really a real mixture. And then, at the same time, because I've opened up a year ago Leak Street Galleries, which is an online uh, gallery, and what I was able to do is not only offer them the space on the wall here, but also offer them a free, because we've run a year's worth of free um, digital shows. So that, that is also, it's, it's almost like a hybrid. There's the physical and there's the digital. And then also, because the space is so unique and so special, it was nice to have other elements here to break it up. So, for example, we got um, over. We, we we were given the space for two months. We're closed for Christmas, which I think is really important. Um, but then I thought to myself, it would be a, a it would be a tall ask to keep people interested over two months. So every week, we've got an, a, a guest exhibition. So, for example, um, it's me actually on the first one, Max the Virus. Next, uh, the week after that, we got the One Collective. They're doing a Christmas art fair. The week after that, we got Picasso, the Painting Pig. We got three of their paintings coming in. Um, and actually, uh, we will have it on the screen as well. You'll be able to see uh, when you come down to the sidings, the pig painting. Then we got Merwalls, who are an amazing um, organization that does these uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, murals uh, for corporate clients. Then we got the Art House Project. I'm being really good remembering all of this. Uh, Art House Project, they, they're a co another collective, uh, Bigger Than Grace Gallery. And then at the end, which I'm really excited about, um, working with Blossom um, House School in uh, Mottsburg Park and all the students there and uh, were working with me doing graffiti workshops. And we're going to do some AI art based on the stuff they're doing in the workshops. So only a small little thing. <laughs> yeah, I literally just realized how much stuff is going on. So it's not going to be... 
the same all the time. It will be lots of different things. Thank you, Mark. That feels like a great time to bring in one of our artists. And I'm going to walk over to the corner and check out one of my favourite pieces of art, which has been drawn and painted by Sophie Bella Carter. Good morning to you, Sophie. Hello. Paint a picture for our listeners at home. So my piece, Hellcat, is a painting of a character I paint reclining um, with the word Hellcat sort of branded above her. It's uh, neons and yellows and is pretty electric in general. What was the inspiration for Hellcat? Um, so it's sort of come from a series I was doing called Praise the Redeemer, and it's the finale piece. So it sort of just sums up what I was doing previously. How long did it take you to put this together? So this painting is the first painting I've done since graduating. So this is the per first piece I've done whilst also juggling work. So usually it would take, a painting, take me maybe a week or two to do a painting this size, but this time it took maybe a month and a half <laughs> just because of other commitments that I was doing alongside it. How are you feeling about people seeing it for the first time? I'm really excited. This is, like I said, the first exhibition I've done since graduating. So it's nice to just get a, an opportunity like this um, in, you know, Waterloo Station where there's huge foot flow. So I feel really lucky to be part of it, really. And you work here as well, is that right? Yeah, I work actually next door in Brewdog. So <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. How did you get involved with On the Side in the first place? So it's just through a chance encounter, meeting Mark. Um, he's been great to me. You know, um, we literally just met in the coffee shop and got talking and vibed over being artists. And he asked me to be part of this. And here I am. <laughs> Can you believe that you're part of this? I mean, I'd like to say yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very happy to be here. Um, I'm so glad to be part of, you know, a, a collection of artists after you know losing my uh sort of team in uni i feel like i've now gone on to this and can meet new people and be part of something professional which it feels really good <laughs> thank you very much sophie thank you and we've got one other artist here as well who has got some of his work next door we can't actually go next door because um in order to do that we'd have to lock up this place and preparations are still well underway but it's stocky good morning to you good morning how are you I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing, and how's it for you to be part of this? Oh, it's, it's wonderful. It's really good. I'm excited, yes. You've done lots and lots of different artwork in the past. Tell us a bit more uh, about yeah, that. Yeah, I've been, uh, for, well, for the last, last several years, I, I was doing my canvas work, and uh, I, I had my normal day job, and then uh, I decided to go full-time artist. Uh, and um, I wanted to do the street, street art stuff. And um, so uh, over the last... A year and a half. I've done about 80 walls, big productions, uh, and loads of coll collaborative stuff with other artists who are on in the show tonight. And um, yeah, it's just great to be part of a collective and and um, you know, painting alongside people on a, on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, your piece of artwork is very very bright and it has a message. Tell us more about it. Uh, well. Um, the, the, my canvas work, uh, previous to what I'm, I'm doing now, um, I, I, the pictures I was doing, I wanted like slogans um, uh, to give the actual picture a message. Um, and then the one I've used on uh, my painting is, it was a slogan from a wall in, in uh, Kuwait, I think it was. And the meaning was, I dream of colours uh, that don't exist. And... Uh, Hence, my, my, my uh, canvases are bright and colourful and everything, and it needed that meaning just to, like, so just, uh, you know, to give you a, um, a lead into the picture. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. And, you, and you've worked at Waterloo before in the Leak Street Arches. For those who don't know, that's a stretch of land just underneath the railway station where you can see an array of different coloured street art, graffiti of various mm. dimensions and colours. You've done that before, and you said to me that off-air that you actually sometimes take the first train here to get in early. Yeah, I'm, I'm normally <laughs> first thing in the morning, catch the first train. Uh, it's just a great, uh, uh, it's a great day and a great experience because my, my main thing... Uh, on that day is the interaction with the public. Uh, you know, I'm there, I'm painting, and I, I, I love people coming up to me asking questions because that's, for me that's what it's all about, is, is giving back to the community, doing something for 
because during the day you'll have over 10,000, 15,000 people. I may exaggerate on that number, but they, they're walking through that tunnel on a day-to-day -day basis, and you're going to reach out to that one person. Weekends are really busy. I like doing it during the week because it's, it's nice. It's, it's a bit quieter. There's not so much going on, you know, and it gives me time to, to do that piece. It normally takes me about eight or nine to ten hours uh, to do a piece. If I'm doing a bigger one, then it's like 12 hours. So it's a long, long day, you know. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very We're looking much. forward to yeah. seeing some more of your work. And, of course, if you want to come down here to the sidings, which is beneath Waterloo Station, the launch party is tonight, and it will be here for seven weeks in total, Shay. Thank you so very much, our reporter Harry Lowe, who has been at the sidings exhibition. BBC Radio London.